May original Moon Girl and Lunella actually be one person, but from different time periods? Well, in new episodes of the show there are hints here and there on what the future holds for our main characters. Mainly that is seen in episode 9 with the flash forward sequence where we get a glimpse into the future of Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur's world. Even the executive producer himself confirmed that there is something important in this scene. But mostly I want to talk about this segment. While the background itself is mainly a reference to classic Marvel characters, it's Lunella that interests me the most. Here she is obviously rather old and even has a prosthetic arm. She also looks to be in some kind of prison place. A hint to where it is might be in one of the Marvel's comics, but sadly I'm not a huge fan of those, so feel free to comment it down below. Anyway, let's compare how Lunella looks in present and in the future with the OG Moon Girl. As you can see, their skin color, hair and a few other effects are very alike. For example, Lunella mentions that OG Moon Girl was making something for the space program. But it turns out it was something completely different. We all know it was a portal from which Devil Dinosaur came from. But how did the blueprints of such a powerful machine have gotten into the hands of a simple teenage girl? Unless someone intentionally wanted it to happen. Which makes me think it is Lunella herself who did that from the future, not to break the timeline. And the fact that we are already messing with the time here also suggests that this device is actually a time travel portal and not just one leading to another dimension. You know, dinosaurs inhabited Earth millions of years ago, and the fact that Lunella put in too much juice might have caused the portal to lead to a much more distant time than originally expected. I'm also still not against a theory I made in my last video that the dinosaur may in fact be the OG Moon Girl, who had some kind of unlucky experiment on herself and turned into a dinosaur. Even if I'm wrong in any of these series, we'll learn the truth on April the 12th when the rest of season 1 gets released on Disney+. Plus. We also have a few episode titles from the second half of season 1, including a two-parter OMG issue number 1 and OMG issue number 2, with OMG here standing for Original Moon Girl. As the synopsis reads, Lunella uncovers the history of the original Moon Girl as she struggles to thwart a powerful villain's plan to use her portal for evil. And this is exactly where Moon Girl gets serialized and the fact that this two-parter is not even the season finale alludes to a thought that we are gonna be getting a whole plot arc with original Moon Girl till the end of this season. Or really these episodes may just be out of order the same way we've seen that happen with episodes 7 and 10. Although original Moon Girl's backstory currently seems to be the main focus of the show, let's talk about other segments in episode 9 that are quite intriguing. Some of them were of course likely included for fun, but for example they reveal a lot about Eduardo, as he has known Lunella since kindergarten and seems to be at prom with her. This means that their relationship will develop from enemies to lovers. It is kinda cliché, but I still didn't really expect that to be honest. This scene with someone wearing a ring seems to be important, but I don't really remember anyone wearing rings in the show by far, so if you do, please comment it below. This moment with Little Dinosaur is a foreshadowing for episode 13. As the synopsis says, feeling insecure about his size, Devil convinces Lunella to create a potion to make him temporarily small. This moment with Lunella and an opposite version of herself is a reference to the original comics the show is based on. Episode 9 delivers incredible potential for speculations, but let's look at other ones we've got. Episode 6 The Beyonder, for example, breaks the fourth wall and reveals the voice we hear when sometimes meeting a villain. The Beyonder is like a character who knows that he's in a cartoon, and in a way controls the story of Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, which hugely reminds me of Rick and Morty stuff like that. Besides all of the above, there was an interesting moment in episode 10, which once more hints at Mimi knowing Lunella's secret. And I believe that may finally be revealed in episode 14, with the synopsis, Lunella must confront her childhood fear, the Coney Island Funhouse, to save Mimi from the Beyonder. Why would the Beyonder take Mimi? Because she's plot relevant and knows who Moon Girl exactly is. That is my current mindset. April will be an incredible month for animation. New episodes of Moon Girl, The Ghost and Molly McGee, Mario Movie, The Owl House Finale, and so much more. 
And by the way, if you wanna know more about the All House finale, check out my last video with the new promo breakdown.